Hey, Abbott, what time is it? It's time for the Abbott and Costello Show. We're on the air for ABC here in Hollywood. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's go with the Abbott and Costello Show. Costello Show, produced and transcribed in Hollywood tonight for your listening pleasure with Susan Miller and the music of Matty Malley. Hold on to your chairs, folks, for here they are, Bud Abbott and Luke Costello. Here I am, Costello. Tell me, where have you been? I went over to see Uncle Mike. He's been in the hospital for the last 10 days. And Abbott, he's got a nurse with a beautiful blonde hair, blue eyes, and the most gorgeous figure. I've been to the hospital every day. How is Uncle Mike? I don't know. I'm going to see him tomorrow. <laughs> How can you be such a colossal idiot? On this show, we only want the best. <laughs> my, my grandfather's in the hospital too, Abbott. He's 105 years old. He is? Yes, the nurse feeds him bourbon for breakfast, bourbon for lunch, and bourbon for dinner. Chaser? Yes, but at his age, he's too old to catch her. <laughs> Costello, when are, you, when are you going to stop being an idiot and start amounting to something? Oh, I think starting tomorrow, I'm going to train to fight Joe Walcott. Joe Walcott. <laughs> Don't make me laugh. Joe Wal Walcott has muscles. I got muscles. Walcott's got stamina. I got stamina. Walcott's got six kids. I got muscles. I... <laughs> Talk sense. Why don't you save your money and get into the stock market? Did you ever buy grain in New York or sell barley in Chicago? No, but I sowed some wild oats in Glendale. <laughs> Costello, I think you'll be a loafer all your life. Nobody would hire you. Oh, I had a job last week at Republic working for Gene Autry, but I got fired. Why? I forgot the Tunis Qatar and the Indians killed them. <laughs> You're in for some real laughs with our zany stars tonight, but before they continue, listen to this. Yes, I am, Abbott. I just met a very gorgeous girl. I think I'm in love. Love, you dummy. You don't even know what love is. Abbott, love is like a poker game. It starts out with a pair. He's got to have Jack or better. She gets a flush. He shows diamonds. And they end up with a full house. Sometimes with a joker in the middle. Costello, I don't believe you've got a new girl. No, no girl would have anything to do with oh, you. Oh, but I got plenty of girls. My trouble is getting rid of them. When I get rid of one, another one pops up. When I get rid of her, another one pops up. It's like jumping from the frying pan into the arms of Jane Russell. Uh, that's <laughs> that's jumping from the frying pan into the fire, my you friend. You jump where you like, and I'll jump where I like. <laughs> You know, you want to be careful, Costello. This is leap year. You huh? Make, this is leap year, you know. You make get trapped. Leap Why? year is different. Why? Why? Well, it's the year when a woman uh, proposes to a man. The woman makes up the man's mind for him. That's different. Now, wait. <laughs> Costello, June is a month for marriages. But uh, you don't have to worry. Very few girls would marry you. Very few would be enough. <laughs> One at a time. <laughs> In parentheses, mad. <laughs> How many girls do you think I need, Abbott? Do you want me to get arrested for trigonometry? <laughs> no, 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 not trigonometry. When a man has several wives, it's uh, polygamy. When he has two wives, that's bigamy. 
Do you know what it is when a man has one wife? That's monotony. I... <laughs> Not monotony. <laughs> Not monotony. Monogamy. Do you know what monogamy is? Sure, I got a table made out of that stuff. Solid monogamy. <laughs> now, you mean mahogany. Oh, no, that's the name of the guy that sold me the table. Patrick Mahogany. <laughs> now, that isn't, that isn't mahogany. It's Patrick Mahoney. Do you understand? Mahoney. Ah, uh, Mahoney is the name of the song. Mahoney don't tell me. <laughs> Mahoney, no, no, don't no. tell me. No, 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 look, look, look. Mahoney, look. don't tell no, me. Wait a let's talk sense, please. That's not that's Mahoney. That's line. Let's talk sense. Yeah, that's not that's Mahoney. Right. That's my mammy. Oh, I've been there, Abbott. You've been where? My mammy, Florida. No, no, no. <laughs> my mammy, Florida. That's Miami. That's what I clean my sink with. <laughs> you mean Banami. Banami. But uh, who? Banami. Banami. Now you're back to the songs again. What songs? Banami lies over no. the ocean. <laughs> Banami lies Please, over Castello, the ocean. Please, Costello, <laughs> Costello, you must have had a tough life. Oh, yes, sir. We lived next to the YWCA, and every wash day, my mother would blindfold me. <laughs> what's, what's tough about that? You know, I was 25 years old before I found out that horses weren't the only ones that wore halters. <laughs> halters. <laughs> uh, speaking of horses, Abbott, how was your wife? Mark oh, I said it for you to hear. <laughs> One more crack like that and I'll lower your bicycle seat till your rompers get caught in the sprocket. How dare you insult my wife, Costello. Why, she's beautiful. Just, just look at her. I am looking at her. <laughs> Mrs. Abbott, when I look at your left eye, I keep wondering. Wondering what? Wondering what your left eye has that makes your right eye keep looking at it. <laughs> My bunny lies no, over. No, no. Oh, you bloated magpie. You should talk about my eyes. I'm afraid to look at your eyes. Why are you afraid? I'm afraid a baby kangaroo might jump out of one of those pouches. <laughs> I told him. No, no, oh, let... get over that one fast. God. Don't let Costello bother you, honey. He's feeling a bit spring feverish. He met a new girl and he's thinking of getting married. Getting married? Uh-huh. <laughs> uh-huh. 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 Oh, what a picture. Beauty and the blimp. <laughs> oh, goodbye. Oh, goodbye. And goodbye to you, Mrs. Abbott, and 33 skidoo. Uh, Costello, that's 23 skidoo. When you get her age, it takes longer to skidoo. <laughs> oh, goodbye. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> Wait a minute. Hey, hey, hey. Who are you whistling at, Costello? That pretty girl in the front row. Well, you can't get a girl by whistling. One time I got two girls that way. You got two girls by whistling? I had a split lip. <laughs> How did you get the split lip? The two girls were with a cop. <laughs> I'm surprised at your actions, Lou. I always thought you were bashful. Well, I used to be bashful, Abbott. When I was born, I stayed in bed for a whole year. I didn't even talk to my mother. Cost- <laughs> Costello, why do you always act so stupid? Well, I have to because... To make you look good. Uh, (laughs) Well, now, wait a minute. When you came in here tonight, you told me that you had a new girl. Uh, Have you been out with her yet? Have I been out with her yet? Mm -hmm. I, um... Oh, sure. Last night we sat on her front porch. I wanted to kiss her, but her father was home. Well, does her father object to kissing? I don't know. I didn't try to kiss her father. Uh Didn't you take her anywhere? Oh, yes. I took her out to eat. It was a swell restaurant, Abbott. That's where I got, a, got this jacket. I took it off the hook by mistake. I wish I had a pair of pants to match it. Well, why did you get some? Nobody hangs up pants in a restaurant. <laughs> well, well, hello there. How are you all? Hey, Abbott. Get a load of this beautiful girl. Honey, child, haven't I seen you somewhere before? Why, you sure know how. Weren't you at Cyril's last Saturday night wearing a strapless, low-cut evening gown? Uh-huh. And it had a bare midriff? Uh-huh. And the dress didn't have no back to it? Uh-huh. I knew I'd seen your face someplace before. <laughs> Why, you silly, silly little boy. 
One silly is enough. Don't pad your pot. Why, well, I'm the girl you were out with last night. Abbott, it's my new girl, Honeysuckle Epstein. Right. <laughs> I'm very pleased to meet you, Honeysuckle. Are you the new girlfriend that Costello has been talking about? Yeah, yes. Yeah, I... yeah? Yeah. Yeah, I, I show sure I am. And Costello, honey, when you didn't call me today to make a date, I, I just went all to pieces. Well, whoever put you back together again sure did a nice job. <laughs> Honeysuckle, I'm crazy about you. Everywhere I go, I see your face. All night long, your face is before me. I can't sleep. Why not? I'm ashamed to have you see me in my pajamas. <laughs> oh, you all are so cute. I'm gonna kiss you. Come here. Oh, kiss me again. All right. <laughs> Kiss me again. All right. <laughs> Why are you crying when I kiss you? You're standing on my foot. <laughs> Honeysuckle, are you, are you and me going out tonight? Well, well, no, that, that's what I came over to tell you, Costello, honey child. Tonight, I have a date with Lon Chaney. Lon Chaney? Uh-huh. He can't cut me out. I'll break every bone in his body. I'll tear him to ribbons. I'll beat him to a pulp. But, 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 but honey child, Lon Chaney is six foot four. And don't forget, he's a wolf man. What do you say now? Well, have fun. <laughs> And there's a lot more mad stuff still to come, but right now, a change of pace to let you hear this. For Susan Miller to join Matty Melnick and lyrically take us on a Louisiana hayride. If this troubled world is getting you down and you greet your friends with a terrible frown, relax and come with me. If old man blues has you under his grip, come along with me on a mythical trip. No tax, it's all free. Your ticket's your imagination, let it have its way. Our magic carpet's just a wagon filled with a load of hay, 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 hay. Get going, Louisiana Hayride. Get going, we all is ready. Start something, Louisiana Hayride. No use for calling to roll. Who oh, will like that sport? Sitting in the hay, loving it away. Oh, ho. for the time is short. Crack your little whip. Get your little ship to go. Start something, Louisiana Hayride. No fool, and we all is happy. Get going, Louisiana Hayride. No use for calling to roll. Those of you who've never taken this magic sort of ride, we've hired Daniel Cupid to come along with us for guide. Daniel loves this sort of a journey. In fact, they're his delight. Just follow his instructions and you will find you'll do all right. And as that man on the radio says, oh, yes, good news tonight. Get going, Louisiana Hay 
hayride, get going, we all is ready. Start something, Louisiana hayride, no use for calling to roll. Oh, I like that sport, sitting in the hay, loving it away, oh ho. For the time is short, crack your little whip, get your little ship to go. Start something, Louisiana hayride, no fooling, we all is happy. Get going, Louisiana hayride, no use for calling to roll. Louisiana hayride. Get ready to roll! Well, Costello, it looks like you're going to lose your new girlfriend, Honeysuckle, to Lon Chaney. She's stepping out with him tonight, you I'll know. fix that Lon Chaney, stealing my girl. I'll tell that guy where to head in. Oh, you're getting awful tough all of a sudden. Well, Abbott, I've been taking those physical culture lessons from Charles Atlas by mail. Oh, uh, you have? Yes. Let me see your muscles. Huh? Let me see your muscles. I don't get the muscles until next week. <laughs> but I'm plenty tough. That Lon Chaney don't scare me. I'd like to see that Lon Chaney walk through that door right now. I'd tell him where to get off. Hello, fella. I'm Lon Chaney. Listen, Costello, didn't I hear you just say that you were going to tell me where to get off? Yes, Cheney. I'm going to tell you where to get off. Where do you live? Right here in Hollywood. Well, you get off at Hollywood and Vine. <laughs> Costello, don't you get fresh with me. Remember one thing. I am the wolf man. Yes, Costello. When the sun goes down, he turns into a wolf. Him and five million other guys. <laughs> Him and five million and one other guys. That's you, I know. Cheney, you'd better lay off me or I'll put a bullet through you the hard way. What do you mean, the I'll hard way? push it through. <laughs> I'll cut it out, Costello. You aren't tough. Oh, no. Lon Chaney, see my fist? What do you think of it? Dirty, ain't it? <laughs> Chaney, the last guy I had a fight with is in a hospital, and he'll be there for the next two years. Yeah? Who is he? Young Dr. Malone. He don't graduate till 1950. <laughs> uh, listen, you little sawed-off runt. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to bite your head off and chew it up and swallow it. If you do, you'll have more brains in your stomach than you got in your skull. Uh, you... I got brains I haven't used yet. Well, don't let them go to your head, Lou. <laughs> hey, you shouldn't... You shouldn't be... You shouldn't be jealous of, of Costello Lon. Oh, I don't know, Abbott. When it comes to women, I'm a little stiff competition. You may be a little stiff, but you ain't no competition. <laughs> He's got better writers than me. <laughs> I don't like your altitude. Uh, what? Your attitude. Yeah. I was higher up on the other one, wasn't I? <laughs> I don't like your attitude, Cheney. You keep away from Honeysuckle Epstein. I'm warning you to withdraw. Yeah, and suppose I don't want to withdraw. Then I withdraw my warning. I <laughs> don't fight, boys. Let's settle this thing peacefully. I just want to say one thing, Abbott. Listen, Costello. Be smart, fat boy. Stay away from honeysuckle. What's the matter, Cheney? Aren't there any other girls in your life? Yeah. But there ain't any life in my other girls. <laughs> there wasn't any life in that joke either <laughs> I can't stand any more of you Mr. Abbott, will you do me a favor? Certainly, Lon, anything for you, Mr. Shaney Well, drop by Honeysuckle's house Here's her address Tell her that I won't be able to keep my date tonight I've got to work at the studio You bet I will, Shaney Hey, uh, you got a pretty fancy name what do people call you, Lon or Cheney? Well, some people call me Lon, other people call me Cheney. But my friends call me Junior. Oh, <laughs> Junior. Uh, 
Out of my way, Abbott. I'm off to see Honeysuckle Epstein. You idiot. You can't go on that day tonight. You've got no money. Well, I'll stop at my Uncle Mike's house and borrow some. He's loaded. He just sold his invention. What did he invent? A cake of soap, eight feet long and six feet wide. A cake of soap? A cake of soap, eight feet long and six feet wide? Yes. How can you pick it up to lather yourself? You don't pick it up. You just sit on it and slide up and down. <laughs> well, I've got her address, and as long as you insist on seeing her, let's go over to the house. Let's. Got here fast, didn't we? <laughs> Come on, Costello. Here's Honeysuckle's apartment. Her name is right on the door. Well, it's my little old honey child boyfriend, Costello. Won't you all come in? <laughs> Honeysuckle, honey child, little old, you look lovely tonight. That's a gorgeous dress you're wearing. Oh, it's just an old Mother Hubbard. A Mother Hubbard? Yeah, yes. Yeah. Don't look now, but your cupboard is bare. <laughs> Child Costello, you all has got to leave now. I got a date with Lon Chaney, and he's very, very jealous of me. If he catches you here, he's going to be awful mad. Oh, no, honeysuckle. Mr. Chaney stopped off at the studio and asked me to come over and tell you that he can't keep his date. He has to work tonight. Oh, well, in that case, what do you think we ought to do this evening? Let's neck. Wait a minute, Costello. You, 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 you forget that I'm here. Yeah, but I only neck with girls. I... <laughs> There's someone at the, at the door. Uh, who is it? It's me, honeysuckle, darling. It's me. I didn't have to work tonight. After all, may I come in? <laughs> honeysuckle, we've got to do something. Lon Chaney finds Costello here, he'll, he'll murder him. I, I know what to do. Uh, just a minute, Lon, honey. I'm baking a cake. I'm the cake, and if he gets in here, he'll crack my frosting. <laughs> Now, now, Costello, here's what we're going to do. You go in my bedroom, put on one of my dresses, and I'll introduce you as Mr. Abbott's girlfriend. Come on, Costello. Into the bedroom. I'll help you get dressed. Hurry up. All right, take it easy. All right, Costello, get into these things. Here, quick. What's this thing? Put this on first. What is it? It looks like a slingshot. Uh, that's a girdle. It... That's a girdle. It's a two-way stretch. No good for me. I stretch four ways. I... Oh, stop. Now, slip this dress over your head. That's it. All right, now let's go. Oh, all right. Hello, Bud. What are you doing over oh, here? Oh, I just brought my girlfriend over, Lon. I'd like to. I'd like you to meet her. Uh, uh, her name is Miss. Um, uh, <clears throat> <clears throat> my name is Lula Castellanos. Oh yes, yes. <laughs> well, shut my mouth. I all from South Patterson, New Jersey. <laughs> oh, shut that... my mouth, you all. Yes, That's sir. Well, I'm just glad to meet you. Say, honeysuckle, put on some of that music on the Victrola and we'll have a dance. Get out some of that romantic stuff like, hold that tiger. But hold that tiger isn't romantic. It is to another tiger. I... <laughs> hey, Lon, I'll dance with Mr. Abbott and, and you dance with Lulu. Oh, no, now wait a minute. Okay. Come into my arms, me proud beauty. Oh, I'm not so proud. <laughs> you ain't no beauty either. Uh, 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 go ahead, Lon, honey. Now, now, you just dance with Lulu, and I'll go out and see how my cake is coming along. But I think I'd... I... <laughs> I'd better dance with Mr. Rabbit. He's the man that brought me. Oh, oh, tush, tush. That's all right, Lulu. I'm not jealous. Go ahead and dance with my, Mr. Shaney. Go oh, ahead. It's you, all right. You rat. You rat, Abbott. Rat. Come on, Lulu. Let's cut a rug, huh? <laughs> Lulu, dear. What was that noise? That was my garters. It's a long pull from my girdle to my bobby sock. <laughs> seem to be getting along fine. I think I'll go out in the kitchen with Honeysuckle. Hey, Abbott, come back here. Come here. Ah, Lulu, at last we're alone. Let me crush you in my arms. Mother told me there'd be nights like this. <laughs> what is the matter with you, Lulu? Have you no warmth? What do you think this is? Puppy love? It must be your nose is cold. <laughs> Oh, 
please, Lulu. Please, please, Lulu. Can't you see the light of love burning in my eyes? As I draw you to me, don't you feel a spark of fire? Yes, I do feel a spark in the fire. Is it love? No, your cigar is sticking in my ear. <laughs> you can't deny me any longer, Lulu. Let me kiss you. No, no, not today, Lon. Please, Lulu, just one little kiss. No, no, not today. Lulu, why do you keep saying, not today? Because today I am a man. <laughs> Wait a minute. Why, you're Costello. I'm going to kill you. If you do, I'll never speak to you again. Abbott! Get me out of here! The boys will be back for a curtain call in just a few seconds. The time it takes to tell you this. Costello with the final word. Folks, we want to remind you of the big contest on our Saturday morning Abbott and Costello Kid Show. You can win over $20,000 in prizes, including a $5,000 airplane, a $3,000 automobile, a live baby elephant, a $3,000 house trailer, and thousands of dollars more in big prizes. You can win them all by entering this contest, folks, and at the same time, you'll be doing your part to fight juvenile delinquency. It's really a worthwhile project, folks, so remember to tune in Saturday morning. That's over ABC Saturday morning, the Abbott and Costello Kid Show. You can hear it over most of the, most of the same ABC stations. Uh, see you Saturday. See you next Wednesday night, too. Good night, folks. Good night, folks. Good night, everybody in Patterson. Tonight at this time for another great Abbott and Costello show, produced and transcribed in Hollywood by Charles Vanda and featuring Susan Miller and Matty Malnick's orchestra. This is Michael Roy saying goodbye until this same time next Wednesday. Be sure to stay tuned for the outstanding entertainment which follows throughout the evening on this ABC station. <laughs>